Vietnam, a country of timeless charm and beauty. Mysterious and complex, Ha Long Bay is one of Vietnam's most famous world heritage sites. You sail gently through a unique environment of outstanding beauty, amongst thousands of rock islands of many shapes and sizes. Ha Long Bay in beautiful Quang Ninh province, has been voted one of the new seven wonders of the world. And it is one of the most beautiful bays on earth. Vietnam is rich in natural beauty. White sandy beaches and clear blue waters abound. Nha Trang Bay is recognized as one of the most beautiful. And the resort city of Da Nang has one of the world's top six most attractive beaches. Island paradises include Phu Quoc, Li Shun Island, With thousands of miles of coastline, Vietnam has beautiful beaches with recreational opportunities for everyone. You can swim in crystal waters and enjoy water sports, including surfing, canoeing, snorkeling and diving. Vietnam's wonderful and diverse nature shines in visits to this fascinating country. You will not find a more charming welcome anywhere. Phom Nha in Ghe Bang National Park is considered an underground kingdom within itself. The vast Shun Dong Cave is the largest cave to visit in the world and probably the most beautiful. In addition to the wonders of nature, we have incredibly diverse cultures from the ancient Champa civilization of Mi Shan to the rich cultures of Hue and Hoi An, as well as colorful traditional and contemporary festivals. All these offer unique experiences to the visitor and form just part of Vietnam's timeless charm. So rich is the culture that there are already eight World Heritage Sites for visitors to explore, as well as living cultural heritage and rich tradition of writers and literature.
Vietnam is truly a cradle of art and heritage in Southeast Asia. As many as 54 different ethnic groups live in this peaceful land. All of these cultures combine to give the Vietnamese people their beauty and timeless charm. Everyone must taste Vietnamese food in all its regional variations. Its delicacies are always a highlight, enticing visitors to return again and again, and making Vietnam a number one choice in Asia. From gourmet to street food, there is a wide variety of flavours, aromas and tastes. All are incredibly subtle and sophisticated and hugely appealing, making Vietnam everyone's culinary paradise. For the holiday maker in this charming land, there is accommodation everywhere, from luxury resorts to experiencing life with a Vietnamese family in traditional homestays. Vietnam can provide world-class quality, but always with that special touch that is uniquely Vietnamese. Vietnam is known as a country of kindness friendliness and hospitality. Coming to Vietnam, no matter where you are from, you will always be welcomed with warmth and charm. Vietnam promises visitors great memories. Emotional experiences will be found in Vietnam's culture, its natural wonders, its rich culinary culture, in its vibrant and modern cities, and especially in its welcoming people. In this young and vibrant country, you will find a timeless charm. Vietnam, timeless charm. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our vlog. And thank you from Bono Exploration Tours in Kabul. And also, together with me, we have Amy, Danny, and also Tonya. In this live session, we'll bring you guys to the northern part of Vietnam. Without further ado, let me start with a short introduction of Vietnam. So, as you can see on the right, here is the flag of Vietnam. The red color symbolizes the bloodshed and revolutionary struggle during those days, and the star represents the five main classes in Vietnamese society, which are workers, farmers, soldiers, intellectuals, and also businessmen. When we talk about Vietnam, uh, you may think of the local cuisine, such as the egg coffee that you can see at the next slide, which is uh, located at the top there. The gigantic bamboo cut chuột lao, Vietnamese girl on their traditional costume ao dai, and also the conical head mong da. And another thing that I find quite interesting is the size of the tables and chairs that are super small. 
I wonder how could those big signs fit into the tiny chair like that? Perhaps that's why we could barely see Vietnamese that are very big in size. But I believe the most impressive one is the traffic, especially the number of motorbikes that you can see on road, uh, which I will show you in the following slide. And you can see most of them, uh, most of the, uh, I mean, you can see more grab motors compared to grab car, which is very strange to us in Malaysia. And also the basketball cap style helmet that is quite popular among the youngster in Vietnam, which even have a hole for girls for help. All right, so you may now have a rough idea on what to expect when you step into Vietnam. So today we were going to cover uh, the northern part of Vietnam, which is Hanoi, Halong Bay, and also Sapa. As you can see in the next slide, uh, it is located at the top of Vietnam. And in the middle, it is known as Central Vietnam, which covers Da Nang, Hue, and Hoi An. And at the bottom, it's known as the Southern part of Vietnam, which Ho Chi Minh City is uh, situated. And at the left hand side, you can see the nation is actually situated on the eastern part of the Indo Chinese Peninsula with a coastline along the South China Sea. It borders China in the north. It has a long border with Laos and also uh, borders Cambodia in the southwest. Vietnam shares maritime borders with Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, and Thailand. That's why you may see a lot of different cultural influence in Vietnam which we will show you later in the sharing. Now I will continue with the tourist spot that we will be visiting in Hanoi. And later on, my colleague will be sharing on other attractions in Halong Bay, Sapa, and also other fun facts about Vietnam. At the next slide, we can see upon arrival Hanoi, we will first proceed to this uh, West Lake. It is known as Ho Tay, or some of them even call uh, Tay Ho. It's one of the most famous tourist attraction in Hanoi and can also be considered as an iconic place of the capital city of Vietnam. One of the notable points of interest at West Lake includes this Tran Quoc Pagoda, which was built in the 6th century, making it Vietnam's oldest temple. It is located on an islet within West Lake. The intense beauty of this pagoda has been recognized on the global scale as it was voted by the Daily Mail as one of the 15 most beautiful pagodas in the world. It's a must visit place when you uh, go to Hanoi. And I know one of the places you are definitely going to want to check out when you are there in Hanoi is Hon Kiam Lake. The lake actually surrounds Ngoc Son Temple. As you can see in the slide, it, it, uh, it is a pagoda sitting in the center on a small island. It, it is very peaceful and calm, which you can uh, relax yourself when you uh, visit to Hanoi. Actually, you can spot it in the photo on the next slide. So it, uh, this is how it looks like. And also we will bring you to Hanoi Old Quarter. It is also known as 36th Street. It is really interesting because you can see how it adopts a blend of Chinese, Vietnamese, and French influence, especially uh, through the buildings uh, there. And the great thing about Old Quarter is that all the attractives are very tightly located with each other, which makes scattering around very, very easy. And back to those days, they actually named the street after the things that they sell. For example, they have this uh, soup street where they just sell soup, and also bamboo street that they sell uh, bamboo products such as leather, and also chicken street, and etc. So you can uh, go there and experience yourself. Also, uh, following by next, Baring Square, it is uh, the largest square in Vietnam. The, it is also the historical destination where the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum was built and also a place to recognize many important landmarks in Vietnamese history, especially the victory of the August Revolution in Vietnam in 1945, when uh, President Ho Chi Minh announced the establishment of the Democratic Republic of Vietnam. And since then, it has become the political center of Vietnam, just like the position of Tiananmen Square in China. And now, uh, Baring Square is now actually a place for gatherings, 
celebrations at Bilitaro Terrace a major national festival in Vietnam. And when you visit to Baden Square, another thing that you must do is to pay your respect to the founder of the modern day Vietnam, the President Ho Chi Minh, whose uh, mummified body life. Yes, it is Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum, as you can see in the following slide. The significance of having his body here is because this is where he first declared the independence of Vietnam. This place is heavily guarded and they won't hesitate to send you out if you are intolerable. One of that is you should pay your respect and that means no singer and no shot and you should always be following the lines when you walk around and keep up your walking pace. And of course, when, this, when you are inside the mausoleum, you definitely need to be silent and keep moving along. You will be queuing up before you get to enter this uh, button square and the security will be scanning your bag and your body before you get to enter, just like what you usually do at the airport uh, uh, when you do your airport scanning. And if uh, you are going to visit this place, make sure you um, do not wear any singlet, do not wear any shorts, huh, as I mentioned. So besides that, nearby to this Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum, you, you will also visit to Presidential Palace, as you can see, it's a very uh, beautiful place in Hanoi. It was intended to be uh, Ho Chi Minh's official residence, but uh, then he had another preference, which I will tell you about later. And at today, it is used as guest house and reception facilities for foreign VIPs. Tourists are not allowed to enter the interiors of the building, but they are allowed to explore the gardens and also Ho Chi Minh's food hall, which is next to it. So you can actually see at the next slide. Ho Chi Minh Stilt Home is also known as Uncle Ho Stilt House. This is the living and working place of President Ho Chi Minh and it's a must visit place for all the tourists upon visiting Hanoi. Since the Vietnamese war against the French has ended, the President came back to Hanoi and at that time he refused to live in the luxurious presidential palace that I have shown earlier on and then he told his comrades that he wanted to build a traditional stood house on the other side to live and work. And that's how it comes with this uh, building. And as you can see on the right hand side at the slide, uh, in front of the house there is actually a pond and inside the pond there are a lot of colorful fish that uh, Ho Chi Minh said with great taste. He was so familiar to them that he only needs to clap his hand and all the fish will come near to him for food. So you can try yourself when you visit to this place, but uh, when I did, I, I, I tried myself there, uh, they, the fish didn't come over to me, probably because I didn't bring any food for them. <laughs> okay, not to forget another place that we must visit is One Pillar Pagoda, which was uh, originally built by the Imperial Lin Pai Tung. So, uh, the, according to folk legend, the king was very old and had no child. So each day he used to go to Pagodas to pray for Buddha for a son. And one night, he dreamt that he saw Guan Ambotak, which is known as Guan Yin in Malaysian uh, for Chinese. She is sitting on the lotus pond that lighted up gorgeous hollows and then gave him a baby. A few months later, the queen gave birth, gave birth to a prince and thus, uh, this imperial, he decided to construct a pagoda with one, only one pillar, as you can see in the photo, it's a very uh, unique structure. This one pillar is uh, actually to resemble a giant lotus blossom to show his deep gratitude to Guan Ambotak. So you can visit it to this place and to uh, see how unique this building is, because uh, we can really see it in other places. Also, we will be visiting to Temple of Literature, which hosts the Imperial Academy, Vietnam's first national university. Originally, the university only accepts the upper class, the leaders and royal family members and students, before it eventually opens it goes to Brighton Community. And for information, all the successful graduates will have their name and draft in a store today which can be found on the top of Spawn Turtles, as you can see in the photo at the right hand side. And, and good, we will get to visit to Ban Phuc Siuk Village Hanoi. 
that is serene on uh, for its traditional soup reading techniques and high quality products, making it one of the most visited craft village in Vietnam. So Viet, uh, Van Phuc was first introduced to the European market between 1931 and 1932 during an international soup exhibition in France, where its soup product gained popularity among all the traders due to its smooth and uh, lightweight texture. And today, this village does not only sell their products to the tourists in Hanoi, but they also export it uh, to many other regions across the world. So probably when you visit to this place, you can buy food pieces for your own collection, or maybe as a present when you come back to your uh, hometown and then give to your friends and family. So at the evening time, we will enjoy this Vietnam famous water puppet show. It is a must do activity in Vietnam to see this legendary traditional Vietnamese form of art, which starts from the time when the rice paddy fields were flooded and the local villagers will make entertainment by standing in the wet deep water with the puppets performing over the water. Most of the show recounts Vietnamese folk tales and legends with uh, topics including the celebration of the rice harvest and it is portrayed in a very humorous fashion. So this is a uh, the only, I mean, you can only see this show in Vietnam. Of course, when we have extra free, free time during the night, we can also visit to the Hanoi Night Market. And it is actually located in Old Quarter, but uh, it is totally different during the night time. They will block their way and uh, all the stores will be open. And you can find many street food and souvenir here. So it's a great place for you to shop, shop around. Okay, well, that is the end of our journey at Hanoi. Continue by next, I will pass the floor to Tonya and she will bring you guys to explore more at Halong Bay. Thank you. Hi, good morning. So it's Tonya again here. Let me bring you to the beautiful natural wonder in northern side of Vietnam, which is the Halong Bay. So the Halong Bay is dotted with 1,600 limestone island and it covered with an area of 1,500 square kilometer. The bay was declared as UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1994. So the name of Halong Bay is mean descending dragon and it means Xia Longwan in Chinese. The bay is angled with a cluster of limestone islets rising from the sea in a variety shape and size. It has a large number of magnificent caves and grottoes with impressive stalagmites and stalactites. Okay, let me show you the video of this captivating site of Halong Bay. very beautiful right we will take a cruise along the bay to open up this fantastic view for this uh, beautiful formations there are some attractions that you can visit the first one will be paradise grotto paradise grotto actually called Tian Chung cave is one of the most magical cave as the cave is covered on both sides of thick forest so while you're getting into it you need to enter the narrow gate to go inside the grotto you will see the grotto with 130 meter long drift open up. You will be amazed when you see a lot of interesting shapes on the stone inside the grotto. You are also really surprised how amazing the natural creator and impressed by the strange beauty of stalactites in unique shapes that formed millions of years ago. 
the deeper you go, the more fanciful scenery appears. We will also uh, bring you some of uh, sightseeing tour along the bay, such as kissing chicken rocks, and you can view all the beautiful towering limestone on the bay with different kind of shapes. You have the imagination of another vision of breathing China. Therefore, you can take many photos of this beautiful landscape as a memory. Halong Bay also called a home of ancient fishing village with a leaf a uh, total of 1,600 people on the Halong Bay in some four villages called Kwaban, Bahang, Kong Tao, and Bong Bien. You also may discover that they live on the floating house and they are fastened through the fishing and marine aquaculture. You will also see some of the local people, as you can see on the next slide. They are selling the vegetables or fruits on the small boat to earn some of their livings uh, during certain seasons. And this is the time where you can buy it and test the local fruits. Okay, there are some uh, optional tools that you can join. You can ride a small box or do some uh, kayaking activities to explore another beautiful side of the cave. You can enter under the cave and pass through an arch with only 4 meters height, 100 meters in length and 3 meters wide. I believe this will be a great experience to all of you. In the evening, we will return back to the cruise to enjoy some of the local delicacies along the way. You may enjoy the delicious food such as seafood, local Vietnamese food, and you can drink uh, Vietnam coffees while enjoying the stunning view along the bay. Okay, if we have uh, free time, you can go to Halong Night Market to do some local product shopping, uh, souvenirs, and uh, clothing, fashion, and so on. Halong Bay also a uh, popular for big cruise docking, such as Royal Caribbean, Dream Cruise, Celebrity Cruise, as you can see on the next slide. Yeah. The Halong Bay will be part of the itinerary to stop by uh, by the big cruise, where the passenger of the cruise may have their excursion to Halong Bay for sightseeing, shopping, or culinary delights. Okay. Uh, Nimbin province will also be a must visit place in northern Vietnam. It includes a lot of attractions uh, waiting to be explored. The first uh, will be this uh, Tham Kok. Tham Kok actually is a miniature uh, landlocked version of Halong Bay. Tham Kok is mean three caps, which consists of Ka Cap, High Cap, and Ba Cap. All the three caps are created by the Modong River that flows through the mountain. You will get on the board rolled by the local people who will pass through the beautiful view along the river. You also can witness the local fisher folks with their village life to do some fishing. And you may also enjoy the beautiful view of bright rice field. Okay. Uh, besides, you also can take a boat trip to Chang An Scenic Landscape Complex, which is in the northern province of Ninh Binh. It was officially declared by UNESCO World Heritage Sites on 2014. Then you continue to take a boat trip to visit the cave complex through the limestone cave, which is Sun Cave, Toy Cave, Bicot Cave. You have the opportunity to row across the mountain's cliff, as you can see on the next slide. You can cross under the cave to explore uh, the beautiful site. And what you can do is to take up your camera and snap a lot of photo as you want. Lah. <laughs> okay, why Minh Bin province is a must visit in Vietnam? Because uh, this place actually was a key filming location for the famous Hollywood movies. You can see on the next slide. Yeah, it's the King Kong movie that called Kong the Skull Island. The movie was filming at here. So why they choose this place for filming the movie? Because uh, there is a scene for the hometown of the King Kong, a giant gorilla that living in a mysterious island. So for those who have uh, watched this movie, you will definitely have the impression of the scene. So you can see the beautiful mountain scenery as the background of the movie. Let's come and witness yourself. And then for some shopping lovers, you will have a free time shopping at Tam Kok Street to uh, do uh, some shopping for local product souvenir. Okay, I bet you will have a wow feeling while go through to this place. 
that's the end of my sharing. Now I will pass to my team. Danny, over to you. Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you, uh, Ms. Queenie and Ms. Tonya for the wonderful sharing. So I will continue my part regions to the Sapa. Okay. Sapa is a mountain town located about 350 kilometers northwest west of Hanoi, close to the China border. Here's where you will find the range of the mountain include Fasipan Mountain. In these days, Sapa welcomes a diverse range of visitors attracted by the highland tribes, iconic rice paddies, and forest track. The whole area is blessed with the inspiring natural beauties. The first place we will visit is the Homon village, also named as the Kat Kat village, is one of the oldest village in the Sapa regions. KK Village is about three kilometers from Sapa Town and is, is also known for being the home of the Homan ethnic group. The Black Homan immigrated from China approximately 300, 300 years ago. Oral traditions and evidence from the attributes and archaeological finds suggest that in the Homan people originated near the Yalo and Yangtze River in China, known as industrial farmers. The hormones are credited with being amongst the first people to cultivate rice and to spread this staple throughout the Asian regions. Let me share some interesting facts about the hormone addict. Hormone women are respected in their community as being equal with hormone men. Husband and wife are very affectionate and do many of their tasks together like going to the market, walking on the fields and visit relatives. In this way, they help each other to develop a very strong community in their life. Apart from that, many local stores are renting beautiful and costume in the Cat Cat Village area. The type of costume here are quite diverse and visitors may choose the clothes they love to wear it. Meanwhile, you can have a very nice, beautiful photo with the beautiful landscape behind you. Okay, so you will also have the chance to visit a big waterfall on the stream and the old hydroelectronic power station built by the French people during the earlier 20th century. It was a unique all-time power station you may experience. Besides, if you want to enjoy a traditional shopping experience in Sapa, then head for Sapa Market, which is also conveniently located close to the local bus stations here you will find a range of colorful local products, silverware, and handicraft by the tribes, people that live in the village around Sapa. Yes, as you can see from the slide picture, the silverwares and very beautiful, fascinating clothing and handicrafts selling by the local people. Okay, Don't forget about Sapa Stone Church. It's also known as the Church of Our Lady of the Rosary, located in the heart of Sapa town. It was built by the French in the early 20th century. Before building, the French people studied very carefully to choose the great location for the building. Sapa Stone Church was built head facing the sunrise east directions because they came here to welcome the light of the God. At the end of the church is the bell tower toward the west, which is facing the birthplace of the Christ. And the architecture of the church built according to the Roman Gothic with roofs, arches, and the bell towers. The entire church is built of stone and linked together by a mixture of limestone, sand, and molasses. So this is the must visit in the Sapa town. And we'll proceed to the Lao Chai Tanban village. Lao Chai is a mountainous province in the Northwest Vietnam home to many ethnic huge tribes. This natural landscape is frequently visited by the travelers looking to experience the life of the tribes in Sapa and enjoy spectacular view of waterfall, mountainside, rice terraces, and traditional villages. Tamban is located far from Sapa, less than 10 kilometers. Tamban is a home to the Gya people one of the Sapa ethnic minority. The Gap immigrate from China in the 19th century and the main language is Boye, which origin from the southern Guizhou province, China. 
They get traditionally cultivated rice in the paddy fields by using simple technology. Water buffaloes are rice as a draft animals and to plot the land. As one of the bigger tribal community in the Lao Chai province, it is also one of the most popular overnight stop on the Sapa trekking roads. If you travel to Lao Chai, Tamam, from April to September seasons, you will have the opportunity to see the golden rice field as a beautiful landscape painting. And you may experience the track rice field by your barefoot. There are many local festivals to attend during different seasons. And you can also stay with the tribal family to experience local culture and their daily life. So this is my mm, next. I will sharing on if you want to head for the hills at the Sapa, the best way to get there to take the train from Hanoi to Lao Chai. Sapa has no railway stations, but it's about 38 kilometers from Lao Chai railway station and is easily reached from there by bus, zip, and also taxi. The train are nicely installed with the equipment for guest comfort. For instance, air conditioning, and there are also plenty of electronic electronical socket for you to charge your electronic device in preparation for your coming adventure. Personal reading lights, luggage locket, lock, lockers, and large window view for you to view around the beautiful landscape during your journey. And you may experience the two birth cabins and four birth cabin on your choices. The train will took approximately eight hours from Hanoi to Lao Chai stations. So this is not the end of our BE travelogue. I will pass the time to Miss Annie for the continued sharing. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for the wonderful sharing from Danny and hello, everyone. I'm Annie. I will continue to share another impressive spot named Funky Park, the highest peak in Vietnam. Funky Park is located in Sapa a town in the Long Chai province in northern Vietnam. Funky Park, also known as the root of Indochina, is the highest peak in Vietnam, Laos and Cambodia at the height of 3,142 meters. There is a two way can go up to the Mount Funky Park, either by plan or by cable car. Of course, if you are following us, we will use the cable car up to the Mount Funky Park, but always subject to the weather condition. Another interesting place is Hanrong Mountain, right next to the Sapa town, is a famous eco tourist site in Sapa. The mountain has a shape like a dragon holding the head up to, toward the sky. It has a name Hanrong in Vietnamese, in English meaning is dragon head because of the special shape. And we also can conquer the summer cloud yeah? the peak of Samrung Mountain at the altitude of 1,800 meters to enjoy the imposing panorama of Sapa Town. In sunny days, you can even see the peak of Fanti Park under the clear sky with the white cloud floating around. Following by the next slide, I will be sharing the extra information. The population in Vietnam is total 97.3 million people as the as per this year which means is uh, 2020 vietnamese official language is vietnamese and some of the local people they can speak english cantonese mandarin and of course their local dialect for the time difference vietnam is just only one hour behind malaysia time and there is four season in northern vietnam which is spring summer autumn and winter season for the religion in Vietnam, there is 73.1% under Vietnamese folk religion or non religion. Coming slide is the currency used in Vietnam. The common currency used in Vietnam is Vietnamese dollar, which is VNV, and US dollar is always welcome. And Malaysia passport holder does not require tourist visa to enter Vietnam, and maximum can stay up to 30 days. On the next slide, I will be sharing the local festival. In Vietnam, there is different festival to celebrate based on different provinces and cities. The majority of Vietnamese will be celebrate the two main traditional festival, which is Pet Festival, is the Vietnamese New Year and the Mid-Autumn Festival. Pet Festival in Vietnam usually 
fall in late January, early or mid of February. The owner of Tat is Tat Yong Yen Tan. It's the most important public festival of the year in Vietnam. Overall, Tat holiday is like a spring festival for the Vietnamese, for the Chinese family, and all the family will get together to have a big meal for welcome the new year. Mid Autumn Festival is in celebration of end of the harvest, known as Tet Chong Tu, is also one of the important holidays in the Vietnamese calendar. During this festival, children are the star of the festivities and are given the colorful lantern, mask, and musical toy to play with. Lion dance and moon cat pop up everywhere to welcome this special season. Following by the next slide is the seven famous traditional folk festival in northern Vietnam, which is the Lim Festival, Perfume Pagoda Festival, Yong Festival, Dongda Hurok Festival, Yen Tung Festival, Cham Temple Festival, and Chong Pagoda Festival. Furthermore, I will introduce the local delicacies can be found in northern Vietnam. The most popular Vietnamese traditional dish is Vietnamese spring roll. It's a consisting of pork, vegetables, rice noodles, and other ingredients wrapped in Vietnamese rice paper. Another popular Vietnamese traditional dish and the Vietnam national dish is a pork soup noodles, consisting of soup, rice, noodles, herbs, and meat. It's a very popular food in Vietnam where served in household, street store, and restaurant all over the country. In northern Vietnam, you were able to have a taste of the steamed rice broth. Locally from northern Vietnam, it's a delicate and light dish usually eaten for breakfast in Vietnam. It's made of a thin rice sheet broth and with pork meat and mushroom. Don't forget to try the fish noodle soup, a light soup made from the fish bone with golden fresh fish with a lightly fried and also egg coffee is more like a dessert than a beverage made with egg yolk, sugar and milk. Egg coffee is the best drink you can eat in Vietnam. And the other famous local delicacies you can find in northern Vietnam is turmeric fish with eel fried dumplings and fresh seafood in Halong Bay. The next following slide, I will show you what you can buy in Northern Vietnam, the traditional handmade Vietnamese souvenir. You can find a very good quality tribal textile, Vietnamese soup product, pepper lantern, lacquerware, chopstick, bamboo product, garment, head and many more. And for the Vietnamese snack and food souvenir can buy in northern Vietnam is lotus seed, Vietnamese coffee, dry food, dry seafood, for example, dry scallop, green bean cat, herbs and spice, coconut candy, marrow chocolate, and many, many more. And of course, this is just part of the souvenir. You can buy a lot of things in Vietnam, which is a very cheap and very affordable price. Vietnam definitely is a shopping and food paradise, affordable tour package price, and in addition, Vietnam is one of the low consumption countries in Asia. Well, this is end of my sharing today. I will pass the time back to our main host, Miss Queenie. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Overall, we can see that uh, Vietnam is actually a tropical country where it's rainy and sunny all year, which is very suitable and comfortable to visit all year round. And also, that's why Vietnamese people create this kind of conical hat to actually help the farmers to work in the field. Until today, when you step into Vietnam, you can actually see them still wearing this conical hat, no matter if it's a she, or it's a he, old or young in the countryside or even in the city and this is one of the charming part of vietnam 
as you can see that they still keep the tradition very well. All right, with that, uh, it wraps up our talk for today. We hope you find this very helpful for you to understand more uh, on the northern part of Vietnam. If you are interested on the other part of Vietnam, stay tuned for our next episode. Also, if you are interested, uh, uh, if, sorry, also if you are enjoying our travel log, kindly subscribe to our Facebook page to get notified each time when we will be online. Remember to leave us your comments and please do us a favor by completing the survey form. Only five questions to be answered and it is clean, uh, sorry, it is pinned below in the comment area. We love hearing from all our viewers, especially which uh, destination would you prefer for our coming episode. Once again, thank you for staying here with us. We appreciate all your support. See you next.